you know, I think that, uh, I think, first of all, NC State did a tremendous job, uh, I thought, defensively uh, against us. Uh, I thought we had some shots early and uh, they didn't go down. And uh, I, I just thought they did a really good job of uh, they're big, big inside. We couldn't get to the basket like we have been able to. And when we don't shoot the ball from the outside, we need to get there. And I, I just didn't think we had our offense uh, the way it needs to be the last couple games. I think when you play three games in seven days, obviously uh, your your legs are going to be a little bit uh, a little bit short. But you know, down the stretch, <laughs> it looked like this was going to be the first game that we made bad plays down the stretch in, in games. Uh, you know, we missed a couple free throws, which we haven't. Uh, you know, Jeremy, Tyler, and CJ missed free throws that we've been making uh, down the stretch. And uh, Tyler's made nothing but good plays, and he, he made a couple bad ones tonight, which is really what you expect a freshman to do. And, you know, he hasn't done that. But we trapped on the sidelines the first time and got the turnover and, uh, you know, couldn't, couldn't convert it. And then we got the trap down on the baseline at the end, and Rock made a good play, stepped in, and you're going to get a fast break in that situation, which is about the only way we could have scored, probably, the way we were playing. So the two traps worked. We got out of it by making a good play at the end. But uh, down the stretch, we weren't good. And, uh, you know, you go down the stretch of too many games like we have, and you're going to have some of those games where you don't make good plays, and tonight was that game, and uh, we were able to we were able to, to make a couple good plays finally at the end there, and one big play at the end. But uh, difficult game, tough three three games in uh, uh, seven days. So we hopefully get a good day off tomorrow, and get a couple good days of practice. And we had. All kinds of trouble at Boston College, down eight with about eight minutes to go. So, and that's the way it's going to be. I mean, these games are tough. It, it really, it's not just home or away. Every game is, is pretty tough in this league. I think we've had one game that wasn't uh, a real, real tough game this year. So, in the league, and that's pretty much what you expect. And uh, I'm sure what will happen the rest of the way. Uh, questions. On the second trap, mm -hmm. you're setting the trap, but how long can you tell your guys to go before they need to the foul? Well, we, you trap one time, and if you don't get it, you got to foul. We got the trap, and they threw us the ball, and we didn't have to foul. Can you talk about the uh, impact on the game today? You know, I thought he was good the whole game. He's learning to stay out of foul trouble. He made a couple blocks there. He, he covered the middle really pretty well. Washington hurts his first half, second half. I thought Akeem did a great job down there with him. Um, you know, I, I thought uh, he was really the difference in the game. You know, seven blocks, you know, 14 points, whatever it was, 12 rebounds. Made his free throws. All those free throws he took and made were crucial. When it was 50-45, we were in real trouble, and we made some really good plays right right there, right one after another. Uh, but uh, Rakeem was really good. I ran today. I, I'd say he might be able to go, but on Wednesday we'll see. He's been doing a little bit better. Think the postponing the game until seven o'clock had anything to do with that? That must problem. be it. That might be it. I'm sure that's. I'm sure that's it. I'm sure that's it. You went to Tyler a couple times late, and, and typically, you know, he's made. made yeah, he made, we were going to CJ. They doubled CJ, and the option, second option, was Tyler, which was pretty worked out pretty well at Pittsburgh. <laughs> what I was, what I was to. When I'm getting to it, didn't work out so well tonight. <laughs> but you, you, you can trust him in those situations. I, I don't see any reason we can. <laughs> we, <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> Coach, it seemed like NC State was really hammering you guys on the boards in the first half. Second half, Jeremy finishes with 14, Rock with 12. Was yeah, we were much better in the second half. 
on the boards. I, I don't. Th I mean, it looked like they were hammering us, but I, I don't. Th I don't know what it was at, at halftime. I didn't think it was that big a gap. I'm not sure what it was. I'm, four comes to mind, but I'm not sure. It seemed maybe a little worse than that. But second half we were better. They spread out more too, so they didn't have as many as many rebounders. They went small, so they had a, they spread us out a little bit more. They didn't have first half they were playing the two big guys down there. A little bit different. So you get things from the small lineup, you get things from the big lineup. It just depends. You talked about Raheem staying out of foul trouble. Are there moments where you see him avoid fouls? You might have done before decisions that he doesn't. Well, he only had one bad one that I remember tonight. That's rebounding foul, the second one, the first half. That's the only one that was bad. Um, after that, um, you know, we were real good. We really played good defense and. Uh, really didn't foul. They did a lot of perimeter stuff. They really weren't going inside in the second half. The first half they were getting inside more. Second half was more perimeter stuff, and um, so we weren't in foul trouble, and we were able to drive enough to get them in foul trouble. TJ was a uh, five or sixteen for uh, the game. Have you ever seen him play this poorly this season? CJ, he's had a couple bad games. He's going to have a couple. You know, I didn't think he had his legs. He couldn't get his legs under him on his on his jump shots. He 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 made five layups. He he couldn't make a, even his 15, 12, 10 footer that he normally. He I don't think he made a jump shot to tell you the truth. I know he made three layups in the first half, and I know he made that last layup, and I can't recall the other bucket he made, but I have a feeling it was a layup. Pardon? Rolled in the lane. There. Yeah, rolled in the lane. Yeah. Yeah, he would have, if he makes his jump shot, it's, he's fine. It was a good game. He just, you know, didn't. Trevor got some really good looks tonight early and, uh, you know, didn't make them. But uh, you got to find a way. And our defense held up. Our defense was good the whole game. Um, but... Uh, you know, our offense just wasn't good enough, basically. Any reason 40 minutes tonight? Pardon? Any reason he stayed in the longest 40 minutes tonight? CJ? Yeah. Yeah, I, can, I like him. I think yeah, I like him. <laughs> what do you think of TJ Warren in his game? He's a good player. Really good player. I thought he did a good job defensively on CJ, and uh, I thought, uh, you know, he gets to the basket. He, he's real good getting into the basket area. Uh, I thought he I thought he played uh Really well. Washington and him really hurt us. Washington, we got a little bit under control in the second half, but he hurt us in the first half. But we have to get our offense going a little bit. They they played. I mean, they played a little slow at the end, but they they played fast enough. And you know, our offense just wasn't good enough. And I think moving forward, for us to be a good team, we've got to to play better offense. I don't look at our record, you know. I feel like we played about uh, really overall well enough uh, to be 20 and five. I mean, I think that's really what we are. We haven't played better than that. I think sometimes you can be 25 and 0, and you can be 25 and 0, and you, you know, we're we're not playing well enough right now offensively over a while now. Uh, really since the Duke game, I thought, you know, where we, we had a, a tremendous offensive game. Um, but we've had some some real bad offensive games that we need to we need to get better on that end. And uh, part of it is, uh, I think, you know, tonight Tyler played like, you know, a freshman. He made some mistakes. He you know, obviously made some good plays. He has some wide open shots that he can make. And, you know, when we played our best offense in Hawaii, Tyler and Trevor had 40 points in two, I think, two different games over there where they had 28 20, 21 20. And we were just, we're a really good offensive team when those two guys are scoring. And, uh, you know, they struggled a little bit tonight. And, uh, you know, we need those two guys to be effective on offense. We need to be better offensively uh, if we want to have a, 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 you know, a great ending. We've played the easiest games of our schedule right now. So the, the next six games will, will be much harder, particularly the, obviously, the four out of five road games that we have at the end of the year. 
And uh, although we had a really good win at Pittsburgh, I don't know how many times you're going to win games like that. So, you know, we've got to play better. I think this game indicates that, signals that a little bit. Um, I think NC State's been very good at home. They won five games out of six, but they won four of them at home. And uh, on the road, they've they got beat pretty good a few places. So I think we have to look at the facts that we're going to have the toughest part of our schedule ahead, which is fine. Uh, you don't get any trophies that matter in the regular season. Yeah, the only thing that matters is what you do in the, in the end of the year, the, the real end of the year. And if we can use these next six games to get better, play better basketball, um, I think that will, will be helpful. Uh, when we play three games like this, and we're going to play, you know, uh, Wednesday, Saturday, Monday, uh, this week. So, you know, those are tough for us. And it's a, a tough thing. Without bye, we're playing six guys. And uh, if I thought we could get another guy in there, I would, but I don't think we can. And uh, But we're going to be a little tired. But I'd rather have CJ in there for 40 than somebody else in there for five that can't do what we need him to do. So... We need to get better. Uh, this up, that was a tough week. We just got through. This is a tougher uh, next three games coming up. So that's, that's how you get better. Uh, you know, this team's reacted well in uh, every tough situation that they've been in or put themselves in, and that's something they should be uh, really given a lot of credit for. To win games like this in Pittsburgh, uh, those games were – Really, they, I don't know. If, I think they calculate percentages with certain time to go, percentages to win the game. We weren't really highly, we didn't, we didn't have a good percentage to win this game or Pittsburgh in the last part of it. So I think these guys deserve uh, a lot of credit for, you know, it would have been easy to just follow the ball and bounce right away. I mean, they made a trap, they got the trap, and they got the steal. I was glad that neither one of us had a timeout because it's it's better for us in that situation. But, uh, you know, it's a great win considering all the things that we've just talked about. And uh, we get a day off tomorrow and hopefully get a couple good days in this week of practice. All right? Okay. Thank you.